Did you feel that? That was an earthquake. Do you know what an earthquake is? An earthquake is when the earth releases energy and causes the ground to shake. Our planet is covered by rigid pieces of crust called tectonic plates. Imagine if you peel an orange and then put the segments of peel back onto the orange. Those segments are like tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are constantly in motion, and when they bump into each other, it causes earthquakes. The boundaries between tectonic plates are where 99% of earthquakes happen. The other 1% of earthquakes are caused by faults. Faults are fractures in the Earth's crust. When faults are buried deep underground, the pressure builds and builds until each side of the fracture slips and sends out waves of energy. Those waves of energy travel under our feet and cause us to feel shaking during an earthquake. Scientists use seismographs, like this one here at Indiana University, to physically record earthquake waves. They use the magnitude scale to describe how much energy is released during an earthquake. The scale goes from 0 to 10, with 10 being the most energy released. The highest earthquake ever recorded was a magnitude 9.5 near Chile in 1960. Even though the magnitude scale records microquakes, most people only start to feel shaking above a magnitude 3. Did you know that Indiana has earthquakes? Look at this map of the Earth. We know that earthquakes happen at tectonic plate boundaries, but Indiana is in the middle of a tectonic plate. So why do we have earthquakes? Around 500 million years ago, the North American plate tried to pull or rift itself apart. It pulled and pulled and pulled, but the rifting failed. All of this pulling caused deep faults to form in the crust. Over the last 500 million years, thousands of feet of rock and sediment have buried those faults deep underground. Even though we can't see them at the surface, they're down there, below our feet. Most of Indiana's faults occur in the southwestern portion of the state, in an area called the Wabash Valley Fault Zone. Our earthquakes are different from the most of the world's, but Indiana isn't the only state in the central U.S. that has faults. There is also a large group of faults from Arkansas to Illinois called the New Madrid Fault Zone. Even though the New Madrid Fault Zone is so far away, Hoosiers can still feel earthquakes that occur there. Have you ever heard about the historic New Madrid earthquakes? A little over 200 years ago, in 1811 and 1812, there was a series of earthquakes near the small town of New Madrid, Missouri. Over the course of three months, there were three large earthquakes with magnitude 7 to 7.5 and more than 2,000 aftershocks. The shaking was so intense that buildings were damaged, new lakes formed, and the Mississippi River even appeared to flow backwards. These earthquakes were felt as far away as Boston, Massachusetts. The shaking rang church bells 1,300 miles away. You can see evidence of the New Madrid earthquakes at the William Henry Harrison House in Vincennes. We know that Indiana has had large earthquakes like the New Madrid in the past, but we don't know when they will happen again. Unlike other natural disasters, scientists cannot predict when an earthquake will occur. But don't be afraid. Even if we can't predict earthquakes, we can prepare beforehand. To prepare for an earthquake, practice earthquake drills so that you know what to do when the real shaking begins. Next, put together an emergency disaster kit. Finally, Choose an emergency meeting place outside your home and practice meeting there. Thanks for learning about earthquakes with me today. Remember to share your knowledge with others and be prepared.